All right, y'all. Take 17. Uh, what's good, people? It's your boy, Greg the Dude. And I'm going to come on here and try to do this video again and get straight to the point. I'm doing a video response to Pinching Pennies 2011, Priscilla. Um, and when I'm with you, um, she made a video about um, couponers unite, uh, rent, rent, rent. Um, it's pretty much, you know, how, you know, most of our videos, you know, even though they may be very informative, um, we talk about how bad our experiences are at these stores. Um, because employees treat us like crap. They refuse to take our coupons. They make us wait for 30 minutes while they're discussing things with the managers. And, you know, we're a lot of time is wasted going to these stores, getting this stuff. You know, and, you know, like I said, I do most of my scenarios while I'm in the store. And, uh, you know, it's frustrating to finally get, get my scenario together and to get to this register. And then they're refusing my coupons, telling me I can't do, I can't use a coupon because it says limit one per purchase. And I'm like, excuse me. I'm like, one per purchase means one per item, and then they want to argue back and forth with me. They want to snap their neck, roll their eyes, and I don't have time for it. I don't have time for these ghetto-ass cashiers. I don't have time for these attitudes, but yet and still you don't know how to enter a coupon or read a coupon. It's getting ridiculous. I'm totally with you, Priscilla. Totally, totally with you. I'm sure y'all see most of my videos, and I have a lot of bad experiences at a lot of the stores I go to, and I shop at a lot of different stores, and a lot of my uh, coupon and I don't even post. So, um, I mean, I, I get bad experiences all the time. Um, any, anytime you using coupons, it's an issue. It's a problem. The stores are making it harder and harder for people to use coupons. I'm thinking maybe it's because they want people to pay more out of pocket. I don't think it really matters. It seems like, to me, it's a personal issue with the employees, with management, with, with, with whoever. They, want, they don't want to see people getting free stuff. Um, people have pretty much... Um, you know, figure this thing out to how to stack a manufactured coupon with a store coupon. Hold your coupons for sale to try to get the best deal possible because, you know, people want to save money. You know, for some people it's a sport. Other people it's a hobby. Some people it's a way of life. You know what I'm saying? Some people do this because if they did not coupon, they would not be able to afford a lot of the stuff that, you know, that you get. I remember um, a few years ago, I mean... A six pack of a six pack of paper towel was like a twelve pack of paper towel was like three dollars. Now a twelve pack of paper towel is I I don't know how much it is because you know I'm not getting it if it ain't free. Or you know if I'm, if I'm not using register rewards and stuff to make it free, but you know um, the price of things are ridiculous, especially in these drug stores. Um, which I mean their sales they have good sales and everything, but you know I know I'm, I'm sorry I'm getting I'm getting off topic. Um, it's ridiculous, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I used to work at Walgreens, and I know Walgreens has one of the easiest registers to run. Um, it's very easy to enter in a coupon. Um, if the coupon does not scan, if the product matches what the words on the coupon state, not the picture, but the wording, then all you have to do is um, hit in $3 or whatever the dollar amount is and press manufacture coupon. They actually have a manufacture coupon on the button, on the uh, manufacture coupon button. Which makes it very, very simple. It's very simple. Um, at the end of the day, the when, when your cash, when you're, when they're checking out, I mean, when you know your register's getting cashed out, they're not looking at all of these coupons, making sure, you know, you did the right thing. Which I mean, they probably should, but it's not like they're looking at these coupons, going over every last coupon to make sure you, you, you entered it in right because they just don't. I mean, they probably should, but. I'm getting off topic again, but, um, and I'm not going to re-record this video, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, because I got a lot of stuff to do, like this big old pile of laundry just sitting beside me, but yeah, so, um, I mean, it's ridiculous, y'all, I, like I said, I worked at Walgreens a few years ago, and their computer systems are pretty much the same, um, they're very simple, you know, if the cashier can, if a cashier can try to push you this candy bar, because, you know, um, Walgreens employees, every month there, there's a special item. And it's normally the items that are sitting at the register. Um, for every item that they sell, they get, like, commission off of it. And um, if a cashier can push you to buy this candy bar, then she can push her, he or she can push themselves to read up on the store's policies. I've always made it a point wherever I work to always know the ins and outs of whatever company I'm working for. You know, every company that I worked for, I refuse to be tied down to one position or just be 
tied down to one job. So I wanted to know everything that there is to know. And that's just my personality. I know most people, no, I'm not going to say most people, I know a lot of people aren't like that. And to them, a job is just a job. But a cashier, being a cashier is not a hard job. I'm sorry. It's hard as far as um, standing up all day and dealing with these different kind of attitudes. But it's not hard to scan a couple items, scan a couple coupons, and press total. It's not hard. Uh, it's not hard. I know a lot of people are going to be coming to me talking about I'm a cashier and it's very stressful and it's very comp no it's not. It's not. I've 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 been working since I was 14 years old. You're not going to tell me running the cash register is hard. Running a cash re running a cash register is one of the easiest jobs you can ever have. It's tough. It's hard on your body it's standing up like that. I agree. The actual labor part of it is tough, but the actual uh, skill requirement the skill requirement does not require a lot of skill. I know a lot of people aren't computer people, but that's only because they limit themselves. But it is not a hard job to scan some items and press total. It's to the point now people aren't even paying for cash. So all you're doing is scanning, scanning the items and pressing total, and then we doing everything else ourselves. So don't come, come at me. I'm not downplaying nobody's job. I'm not putting nobody down. But being a cashier is not hard. It's hard in a sense of having to deal with the different attitudes and stuff like that. But actually running and operating in the register is not hard. So, taking coupons does not make the job any harder. Um, let me grab this. The same, the same barcode you're scanning is pretty much the same barcode that is on an item. Scan it on to the next. Scan it on to the next. Scan it on to the next. It shouldn't be no issue with it. Read it first. I mean, if you have to glance over it, cool, to make sure you get the right item. Scan it, and here we go. But if you read it and seeing, oh, this is a $2 off coupon, and these batteries that he got is $2, oh, no. Uh-uh. Let me call the manager, because I'm not trying to get in trouble. Like, huh? Well, because these are $2, and these batteries are $2, so it's going to make it free. Okay? I mean, you just can't get it free. I mean, you just can't. Why not? I'm not getting it free. That's what the coupon is for. It's my money. I'm paying I know, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't zoned out for a minute. I, I didn't imagine that I was in a Walmart or something. <laughs> but yeah, but yes, Priscilla, I'm with you. I'm, I just think it's a good idea. It's a very good idea. We need to get together. Because this week, last week, I don't know how many people hit me up talking about their experiences at Family Dollar, at Walgreens, at Rite Aid. It's ridiculous. We need to get together. We need to hit up their Facebook pages. Um, Family Dollar, we need to hit them hard. There's so many people in this coupon community. It's not a lot, but between all of us, you know, all the video makers, all the video watchers, we can do some damage. You know, like she said, you've seen what happened with the finish deal. Got squashed in no time. The deal with the Brita, I'm not really sure what happened with the Brita, but I'm guessing a lot of people went to their Facebook pages complaining, and they was able to do the Brita rebate thing. So, yeah, I mean, I'm with it. So, gonna hit me up. Let me know what y'all want to do. And whose pages we want to go hit up first. We can all get on here making videos. Telling everybody who we need to go hit up. And pretty much leave it at that y'all. So yes I'm leaving it at that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thanks for all of the nice things you all said about my mom. She really appreciated it. Um, and I'll talk to you all later. So peace. Peace and peace.